Oh, JD here, Tillimus. And as you can see, this is not F1 2021. This is F1 22. And very recently, basically in the last 20 minutes, a lot of footage has been dropped off this game. Quite a lot of it was leaked yesterday, I think unintentionally by a lot of people. So I think they've decided to just release it since it is Miami this weekend and they want to show off the circuit and we're just going to look at two on boards here this is from uh, Barry Boromund who's in the McLaren driving the new Miami circuit and we will give it a little bit of a breakdown next lap we do and we also will be showing a cockpit on board as well so really this video is just to showcase this and what are your thoughts are on this game so far and initially just looking at this really gives me pretty much a 2021 and a 2020 vibe I don't really feel there's a significant difference and it says work in progress at the top but I can tell you that pretty much two months out from the game this is very much going to be the game we will be receiving and yeah, I just want to hear what your thoughts are in terms of the sounds, the graphics, the handling model. What are your thoughts? So now we're going to have a little bit of a closer look at this app itself. And you can see down here, slight change in the HUD, but nothing too drastic at all. So as we now start the lap, first thing I notice straight away that there is no porpoising at all. It is super, super smooth. And I think the weapon drivers in real life would love to have this kind of smoothness as we're coming up through into here now. Not sure what that graphic is about up in the top right, but a lot of people are talking about the sound. So I'm going to give you a listen of what the real life McLaren sounds like right here now. Does it sound much different to you? A lot of people have been discussing the audio, especially with the uh, Ferrari hot map we had yesterday, um, which was very different to real life. Another thing I do notice as we're coming into uh, some sequence of corners coming up on the curbs, they have a very weird effect where it just understeers uh, straight on. Um, I'm not an expert in style, but it's just coming through here now. If you watch this, it just like it's on ice going through there so very odd kind of effect it has but again let me know what your thoughts are and I don't want to be too negative in this video at all because I am excited for the new game it's always great to play a new game but I really hope that we do get something different from F1 2021 because we've had the same game game engine now since 2015 and it kind of feels like a rinse and repeat but now we're actually going to see a onboard from the cockpit perspective of an alpha tori so again we're going to dissect this lap uh, just a little bit to compare the sounds and again really would like to hear your comments on what your initial impressions are i know it's a work in progress but i don't think too much is going to change from here to the game itself so, uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure what to think right now. But if you just take a listen to this sound. And then we're going to jump on board with the real Alpha Tori. Yeah, what are your thoughts on that? I know it's from Cockpit, so it might be a bit different as we're just pausing it here because. One thing a lot of other people mentioned as well is the steering wheels aren't quite accurate as of yet. So hopefully that is updated for the game itself. And yeah, really just showing this and just wanted to hear what people think of this. I know a lot of this is just to generate hype for the game itself, which you know, I understand you have to do. But for me personally, having played these games for over a decade now, it's been a lot of hype, but quite honestly, I've been quite disappointed in most of the titles, especially since F1 
2015 onwards, in all honesty, and really feels like it's the same game, and you're paying quite a lot of money for this. So, yeah, I'm not going to buy into the hype so much. I just want to see what the game delivers itself, and I think the fundamentals really do have to be fixed first, such as the online. If we can do that, then that'd be a great step in the right direction, but I will leave you with this here. Let me know your thoughts once again, and I will be catching you very, very soon. Peace.